guys and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and a brilliant New Year's Eve, whatever you celebrated. Today I'm coming back to you with my skincare routine. Um, I want to start posting some makeup videos on my channel but I thought it was important to come on first and show what I use on my skin to keep it as good as it is. I have really quite good skin without being big headed. Um, um, it's not something I've ever really suffered with. I have normal combination skin. Um, somewhat dry on my cheeks, a little bit oily in my t-zone if it's hot, uh, but most part normal and I get very few blemishes, of the few occasional hormonal blemishes, I've suffered with a few recently, um, just from stress from Christmas and things. But yeah, so I thought I'd, before I started posting makeup videos, I'd come on and show you what I use it for my everyday skincare morning and night. Um, I'm not going to show me using it, but at some point in a vlog I may show me applying it or I may do it in a makeup video. So I'm just going to jump straight in and go and get ahead and get started. The first thing I do, I'll start with the morning. Um, I don't do this every morning and it is it is one of my resolution, like New Year's goals, is to be better about my skin because sometimes I can be a bit lazy with it. Sometimes I'll just get up and splash my face with water. Sometimes I won't do anything. I need to be better. You will have to excuse background noise if you can hear it. My daughter's in her bedroom watching her tablet. She may shout for me. It doesn't mean that she wants me. It's just that she can hear me talking. I'm not ignoring her. The thing I do in the morning is use this. It's from Superdrug, the Naturally Radiant line, and it's the Refreshing Complete Cleanser. And it's a foaming cleanser for normal to combination skin. So I just use a wet flannel to stamp my face with warm water, apply this, remove it with the flannel. And I use a clean flannel every day. I start with it in the morning, then I use it to remove my makeup in the evening, and then I put it in the wash, and I use a clean one every day. So that's what I start with. I'll then go in with, again, from the Naturally Radiant line from Superdrug. This is the Glycolic glycolic tonic five percent glycolic acid toner and i just take this on a cotton pad all over my face and it's supposed to be like awaken your skin's natural glow and um brighten your skin this is what this line is supposed to do essentially is brighten your skin uh dull skin is something i do suffer with and the next step i do would be apply lip balm at the moment i'm just using the nivea original this is one of my favorites sometimes i use vaseline it depends what i get the next step I do is the, again from the Natural Radiant line, the Brightening Eye Cream. And I just apply that under my eyes and around my eye sockets um, every morning. And I then go, this doesn't have the label, but I have the night cream here. It's the Naturally Radiant, and this is the Brightening Day Cream, I believe it's called. Um, it's just a, it has a lovely scent. It's just a regular cream. Um, and I just use that all over and that's all I do and then I go into my makeup preparation and do my makeup if I'm wearing makeup or I just leave it at that some days so going on to the end of the day um I'll I'll I always remove my makeup I never ever ever sleep in my makeup sometimes I'm really lazy and I take it off with wet wipes and I don't wash my face I'm the first to admit it but recently I've been really, really good about removing makeup when I'm wearing it. So with the flannel I use in the morning, I take this product. This is from Boots. It's the Botanics range. I think that's a Boots own range if I'm not mistaken. And it's the 97% organic with rosehip hot cloth cleansing balm. And that's what the top looks like. And this is one of those solid cleansers, I'm running out, that turns into an oil when you massage it into your skin. And it just breaks down all the makeup and then I use the cloth to remove it. It did come with a muslin cloth, but I find that they're very hard to keep clean because you're not supposed to put them in the washing machine. And it was very small, it was only this big and I've got quite a big face. So I need something a bit, I prefer something a little bit more exfoliating as well, so I use a flannel. That I find leaves a little bit of a residue on your skin um, because it's an oil, obviously just removing it with water doesn't remove it essentially very well. So I go in again with the same cleanser as in the mornings. Um, and when I run out of this, I'm actually gonna try this for remover makeup. I've never tried it for that, but it does say on it that it does remove makeup. So I'll just do a double cleanse in that case. I do one to remove my makeup and then do another one to actually cleanse the skin. So then once I'm done with my bath shower, whatever I'm doing, sometimes I remove it in the sink, but I tend to remove my makeup in the bath or shower. For some reason, I find it comes off better and I feel like the steam opens my pores more, so I'm actually drawing out what's in the skin, essentially. Then of an evening, I go in with the Simple Soothing Facial Toner. Um, again, on cotton pads, all over the face, just to remove anything that the cleanser's missed and tone the skin. Um, I then go in with 
these, which again is from the Naturally Radiant line at Superdrug. These are the glycolic acid daily cleansing pads, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's like um, it's essentially a really they're really tricky to get out. It's essentially a really really thin cotton pad, loaded with product. And this is again, like the toner in the morning, the glycolic toner, it's supposed to like resurface your skin. Then I go in again with the same eye cream as the morning. And I then go in with the night cream, the Naturally Radiant Renewing Night Cream, which is thicker than the day cream. And then the last step I do is I use the Vitamin E, also from Superdrug, Leave On Moisture Mask. This is like um, the consistency of a gel. Um, and it's just like an extra layer of moisture. I don't know that this works. I'm really just using it up and then I'm looking at gonna get a serum. I had the face oil from this brand and I didn't like it. I felt it left my skin greasy. But this I put on and I just, I don't feel any different to if I put this on than if I just put this on. So I'm not 100% sure this actually does anything. Um, so I probably won't repurchase this. Everything else I use, I would repurchase. Um, and that's it. I don't tend to use anything on my spots if I do get them, because like I said, they're only hormonal breakouts. Um, I'm really quite good at not picking them unless they're really like disgusting and like have yellow heads, and then I'll pick them. But other than that, I tend to be really good about not. So I find that if I get one, they don't often spread, but my spots do tend to last for a very long time, so I try and avoid wearing makeup as much as possible. I make sure I clean my makeup brushes and stuff. But that is everything that I use on my skin, just with a flannel. And I also, I don't, I've actually ran out, but I do use a face scrub. Um, I'm not brand loyal. The most recent one I had was from this Vitamin E range, and it was a gentle oatmeal exfoliator and I didn't like it because it was really chunky and I found it didn't exfoliate my skin very well it just sort of smeared over and then it was really hard to remove even with a cloth so I don't think I'll be purchasing that one again I'm going to see if the naturally radiant line has a face scrub um because I'd like to try that if not other ones I've used before have been like the scent Ives apricot scrub and I've really liked that um so I'm I'm gonna see what I can get um, but I'm not brand loyal to face scrub. I've not ever found one that I fully fell in love with that was like, I, I have to have this, I can't live without it. So I'll just see what I pick up next, maybe what's on offer, or like I say, if the Naturally Radiant line does one, then I'll pick one up from them and see what that's like. But yeah, that's everything I use on my skin to keep it as healthy as possible. And I, I am trying to be better about making sure I'm re really strict with the routine and do it morning and night in the hopes that it will prevent some of the hormonal breakouts I do get um, and some of the stress breakouts. So yeah, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.